Someone over on the Ecom Season Instagram page recently DM'd us and asked, is it possible, and I think this is a phenomenal question, is it possible to automate a Shopify store? And we started having a quick conversation. I jumped in there myself. It was just kind of going back and forth. I'm talking about Shopify versus other platforms, the different things. Because for an example, if you have an Amazon store, it's different, the day-to-day -day tasks that you have to do. And it'd be very different with how you outsource that. And my answer was sort of, but it really depends on how hands-on you want to be or how, how hands-off you want to get. So for an example, the typical work that goes into a Shopify store, once the store is set up, everything's done, there's no, there's no maintenance for it. It's not a custom website where you need to be updating code and making sure things are fine and changing stuff. There's, there's not any upkeep. That's the great part. So the main things will include some sort of advertising. People do this in all different ways. Some people make YouTube videos that just review products like, oh, this is the best phone charger and talk all about it. And then like, that's how they sell it. That's cool. So that would be their form of marketing. Who's gonna do that if you're not gonna do it, right? Or if you're running Facebook ads or Google ads, what's the form of automation there? Then there's fulfilling the orders, dealing with the bank account, you know, making sure your bank is obviously healthy, cash flow is good, dealing with payment processors, making sure there's no reserve that's too big or killing your cash flow, making sure everything's healthy, your credit card bills are paid, or, or how are you automating that? Is it through a debit card? Are you using Amex? Is the Amex on auto pay? When's the date for that? Fulfilling all the orders, making sure things are delivered, tracking numbers, customer support. So there, there's a, that's, it's not huge, but there's a little list of things that you're gonna have to do. And as a business owner, you always want to work on the phrase, and this is something I always try to bring things back to. You want to work on your business, not in your business. So for an example, the people that I know that run the, the biggest e-commerce stores that I personally know, the ones that do a couple, like maybe 200 million a year, not, not super high nine figures, but those numbers, they automate every single point of that. They're not the ones running the ads. And so it's an automation perspective so that they can scale and focus on typically like new product research, you know, developing new products, working on packaging, working on new branding methods and social media stuff. So it's kind of like having each little component of that completely outsourced. So you work on the business, not in the business. Now I think for a period of time, each and every single one of those people, no matter what, has always worked in it and has done every single component. When I first started, I was making Instagram posts for it every day. I was trying to post value on Facebook, started a Facebook group around the store and did every single component that there was, You know, trying to do each and every piece of that because Number one, I didn't have the sales, so I didn't have money to pay anyone. I definitely didn't have a startup budget big enough for that. I also didn't know how to hire people. I also wanted to learn each point of the process. I think that's really valuable. So back to the original question of, is it possible to do that? The answer is yes, and I think you should slowly piece it off. So I'd recommend you do the customer support on the store until you're getting 10, 15, 20 inquiries a day to the point where paying someone a flat fee of $10 a day would be worth it because now you're saving 20, 30 minutes of your time. You don't have to check twice a day. It's not something you have to think about. Once that $300 that you'd be paying every single month, roughly, just as in this example, isn't a big deal, the, the financial end of that, then I think it's very valuable. Now, the question is how can you completely start and automate? You know, there's people who, maybe they're a lawyer and I actually had someone reach out like this. They were a lawyer making like 80 grand a month and wanted to put one month of their current income into like automating an e-commerce business. They were looking at Amazon automation and different things. So there's that side of it where you're not trying to learn. It's just, you want an automated, it's like buying a franchise and hiring a manager for you. Just, you just want another income stream, right? You have the capital. So there's multiple ways that you can do it. I think from a Shopify perspective, it might be a little more difficult than Amazon automation to completely do. Now, inside of our advertising agency, we're slowly working on what we're calling full management, which is where we don't just run the ads. So for those of you who are clients inside of our agency or those of you who have looked at it or spoke to our client manager, what we primarily do is we just run the Facebook ads. You know, we take all of the pressure off the marketing. We do all that because we, we spend millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars a year just in client ad spend. It's about 4 million bucks a year right now, just on Facebook. And that's the platform that we've really gotten good at, really mastered two facets of that, which is starting things from scratch. So for some of our clients, they don't have any experience. They've never built an e-commerce store. They don't know anything about Facebook ads. So having us do it for them just naturally and obviously it speeds up that process to test products, find a winner. But then there's also people who want us to scale. You know, people who, um, they don't just want to automate. Usually I've actually never heard of someone who says, hey, I'm doing 300,000 a month. Can you automate this for me? It's always, can you help me scale? Because as a business owner, you want growth, right? And the thing is, if you've never made much money before, like I remember with my first e-commerce store, I went from making like two grand a month 
to like 30,000 a month in profit in like a six month window once I started figuring things out. And I mean, it just changed everything. And now I thought that was like my new, you know, highest level of income. But sh I should have been pushing harder and hiring people to help grow that. Because there's always a, a bigger level that you can get to. I mean, that's nothing. That's such a small amount of money from an e-commerce perspective because the scaling is limitless. And it's something I've always kind of like plateaued. It's like been a stair stepper throughout my career. I, I get comfortable. Okay, I figured out how to do like 300,000 a month in sales on Shopify. And then I'm there for a while. And it becomes really easy to do that and start a store and get it there. And you know, then I took some time off for most of my companies and figured out how to get stuff to a million dollars a week. And I know right now that's kind of where I'm at. And you know, it's not like crazy hard. I think I might be able to push like six or eight million a month in revenue. But I, there's levels so far beyond that that just blow my mind. And so I'm working to get there as well. And I think there's a lot of value in that. So that's some of the content we're posting here on the channel, just different tips and tricks on how to automate. I just wanted to talk about that side of things um, and let you guys know about the full management that we're slowly working to roll out inside of the agency. There's a few little things we're not doing, like managing the customer support, but we can easily help you hire someone that can do that. So you you don't have to deal with it. You know, there's little stuff like that, but yeah, we've been working from an automating the, the advertising perspective for quite some time with clients. And it's been going really well. So you'll definitely be seeing some more case study videos on the channel here shortly. Um, we have a couple clients right now that have gone from zero to a couple thousand a day with at least a 30 to 40% margin, which has been awesome. You know, having clients that they now have an automated business making them a thousand bucks a day in profit. And the only thing they're doing is making sure the orders are fulfilled, double checking all the money in the bank account and blah, 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 and managing their customer support person because they got the, the order volume. We got it high enough to where you can't really manage it on their own. It doesn't make sense to do. Again, always keep that phrase in mind, work on your business, not in your business. It's totally okay to, to work in the business for a period of time, but that's not the goal forever. And you definitely don't want to. So yeah, hope this video finds you well. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. For anyone who's working inside of our agency already and you work with our media buyers and our client managers and developers and people who help you with upsells and emails, depending on where you're at, you know the structure we have in there. And there's definitely, you know, we're not fully automating everything, but we definitely help on certain components. So if that's something you guys are interested in, if you're not inside of our advertising agency, I'll leave a link somewhere down below. You can book a free call with one of our client managers, see exactly how we structure things for a couple dozen clients. It's been super fun. So I look forward to sharing more examples, answering more questions here on the YouTube channel. So if there's anything you want to see talked about, just leave it in the comment section down below. Make sure to uh, hit a quick like when you're down there. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace.